Before we jump right into um, actually building our WordPress sites and setting everything up, I wanted to quickly touch on why WordPress is my favorite content management system and why I think it's uh, the best content management system when compared to, um, you know, Joomla or Drupal. And um, WordPress was launched in 2003, um, and it was a fairly simple blogging platform. Uh, and I think they've done an amazing job retaining that simplicity today. And that simplicity starts with its ease of use. From the second you log in and go into the back end and look at that dashboard, everything's just easy. It's intuitive. Getting around's easy. Creating posts is easy. It's just, you know, you just get it. And that's one of the things that I love about WordPress and that I, I've loved ever since the first time I used it. Now, another thing that I love about WordPress is the amazing amount of resources out there. And by resources, I mean themes and plugins. There are thousands and thousands of premiums out there, some free, some premium that you have to pay for. Um, even though these premium themes, uh, you know, are probably averaging about fifty dollars now, um, which isn't which isn't too much, um, you know, for really quality stuff. And there's a lot of very smart people uh, creating a lot of very amazing products. And and the same goes with plugins. Um, you know, you'd be hard pressed to find uh, or to think of any functionality that you know you can't really quickly add with a with a quick WordPress uh, plugin. So there's a lot of functionality from plugins. There are a ton of different style options from themes. And another thing I love about WordPress, some people actually tend to see this as a negative, is that it keeps updating. It's so massive and there's so many people and it's open source and people are contributing to it um, that it's so it's it's always being updated and some people get kind of annoyed with this, but it's always, you know, improving and, and functions are being added and it's evolving in a good way, um, which is awesome. And um, because it's so big, because there's so many people, there's a massive support community that's very active. And aside from the dedicated WordPress support resources, there are also abundance of third-party forms and other options for assistance out there, so you can really get an answer to just about anything. And another thing I wanted to touch really quickly was that WordPress is inherently SEO friendly. Um, and there are a ton of features that, you know, will automatically generate friendly URLs and do a bunch of other stuff, you know, such as, uh, you know, Google XML sitemaps. Um, and then there are a lot of plugins that are all-in-one SEO packs. Um, so there's just a ton of SEO resources out there that, that, are, that really, um, you know, keep me going or, or keep me coming back to, uh, to WordPress, I guess you could say. And then, and then lastly, well, setting up is very expensive. And, and because WordPress is open source, it costs absolutely nothing. Um, so all we have to do is to pay for our additional hosting um, and, and maybe a premium theme. Um, but, you know, a little amount of money can get a very, very quality WordPress site up and running. Um, and all the plugins that we're going to be using are free. Um, so, so these are just a couple of the reasons why I love WordPress, why I think it's the best content management system out there. Um, and, and that's why we're going to be using it in this course, and that's why I've pursued uh, a career building WordPress websites.